As you prepare to make your way once more into the choking wind of the sprawl, you find yourself contemplating the grave robber. Much like the highwayman before her, there's a glint in her eye now, a memory. You think, based on what you've seen, that if she is protected, if she survives, she will remember more. The highwayman has proven a capable leader, a calming force, and a deadly blade. It's nice to have two of them now. But first, the sprawl, the first of many challenges. Time to press on. Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Loki Orin, and we are back at it in Darkest Dungeon 2 with Guns and Roses. Uh, taking out a trio of named characters as we head into the uh, head into the sprawl. We've got a quite quite a bit to do in this zone. Uh, we do have. Um, I believe we're all set up. We do have quite a number of trinkets, so we're, oops, we have a, uh, okay, so there's the field hospital, and there's the lair, oh, so, we definitely go into the hero shrine, but we can't avoid the field hospital, <sighs> apply on crit range skills to blight, Poison dart skills plus 33% blight dealt. If rank 1, 75% damage taken. His rings, it, it's not the biggest upgrade because um, I think Venom Drop would be even better. But Pirouette is a ranged skill. So that's a chance for a lot of extra blight. And we are using Poison Dart. But I... Go away. I really want his rings. But is it... Is the lair worth that? Well, the, the first part is easy. Uh, we're definitely going to... Uh, we're definitely going to this hero shrine first. And if we go to the field hospital, we don't really have the relics to... Oh, well, we do now. Well, no, we still don't. We need... All right, if we get another stack of relics, then it means something to go to the field hospital. All right, well, let's leave that for a moment. Um, let's finish out the Vestal here. Wrath. Wow, that's dark. So not only did she, you know, let the sacred flame go out, she effectively got her whole, uh, her whole squad killed. Oh, divine comfort. That's cool. It's a skill that gives regen to. Now, does it give regen to everybody? No, just the target. keep it as divine grace for now but this actually let's let's try this out let's see how divine comfort feels well we can lead with divine comfort let's see how this all right so oh everyone wants to go to the field hospital field hospital means giving up on his rings which is pretty good, don't get me wrong, but it is not everything. 
Would I rather... <sighs> yeah. His rings, his rings is good, but it's not, it's not good enough, I guess is the way I'd say it. Like, this is a, this is really strong, but Audrey can live without it and still be quite effective. Um, and there's always the chance we'll see it again later. Versus, um, you know, versus the lair, which we may never see the sprawl again. So we can't guarantee that we'll ever have the opportunity. Unfortunately, we can't... Oh, we can cure the disease. Noise. Get the disease out of here. And away we go. So, unfortunate, but what, I don't know that we had much of a choice. Well, we had a choice, but I don't think, I don't think that was the wrong call. I think, I think we made the right call there. Yeah, because because uh, she Audrey's doing plenty of damage. Tempted to use that, but I don't think it's necessary. We do get to use Hand of Light here to ramp up her damage next turn. I do like that the Vestal compared to like other characters is like actually really capable in either role. Um, I mean, okay. Just give him the bonk. Hastening history onto Lou again. I guess Reed and Lou do have a thing going. Two turn cooldown. So. So I think we, we set up for the uh, the Iron Swan to finish it here. Never mind. Reed's got us. Hastening history just keeps procking onto the Vestal. That's kind of funny. We are going to end up quite wealthy. Uh, that, is, that early Assay gear means we are going to spend this entire run quite wealthy. But first... A, uh, a hoarder for our trouble. Oops. Probably needed to hit that one. Alrighty. What do you got for us? Ah, clandestine cape keeps teasing me. Don't hate the idea of a meditative totem. Yeah, let's grab the meditative totem and the stimulating poultice. Would have loved to see some milk-soaked linen, but as it stands, this is probably good enough. It's probably good enough. All right, let's roll. All right, well, we've come this far, so we're definitely going to the lair now. we got a road battle first, but then we're definitely going after the lair here. Well, that's a new voice line, and also kind of rude. I've done this before. Voice, voices in my head. Don't tell me I can't do something. I've done it before. There we go. Gotta say, this whole fisherman's glove, um, this whole fisherman's glove bone saw thing has not, uh, had not had a lot of opportunity to work, uh, mostly, 
Mostly because we just keep killing everything with the Hellion. But I guess that's a good problem to have. Oof. Just fell the tree straight to the dome, but the, the Vestal is a tanky girl. Lou is a tanky girl, so it's not so bad. Still waiting on that bleed to show up. Oh, it does hit everybody. Yeah, I don't think we need it yet, though. There's lots of options there, but I think we just I think we just go and smack him. The fight's not gonna last long enough for any of the other options to come in and be be meaningful. Oh man. Making me work for it here. There we go. Jeez. Guy made me work for it. Alrighty. So for the lair. I don't think Hand of Light is going to come into play. And I'd like to have Ministrations handy to get rid of big stacks of burn. Mace Bash is also unlikely to come into play. Oh, uh, wait. Divine, Divine Grace is probably not going to get used that much. We'll, we'll, we'll keep Sanctuary up. This does mean she has no way to deal damage, though, and that doesn't really work for me. Maybe we let ministrations go. Yeah, I think this... I want to have Divine Grace, if possible. Um, just because it can it can save us. And I really don't want to lose the run to something silly. Uh, you're good the way you are. Audrey. Probably not going to be pirouetting early or lunging. So probably just throwing poison darts the whole time. Freya's, Freya's good and set, I think. All right, let's do it. It's unfortunate. There's like eight different skills that I want the Vestal to have on here, but sadly we can only have five, so let's do let's do our best. I suppose there's always the chance we get chewed up on our way on our way in and we just we hoof it, but I don't think that's gonna happen. by two pop our consecration of light Ooh. taking a bit of the old punishment here not as much as it could be though Does Mace Bash reach three? It does not. You're just dead, though, yeah. Okay. Well, we're definitely not running after the first encounter. There's definitely more loot to be had. Oh, a sacrificial, you say.
I just remembered that the highwayman does have uh, his objective. And uh, this is actually a good opportunity for Reed to get it. Oh, that blind is not what we were looking to see. This might be a little bit greedy, but I think it's okay. I think. I hope. We'll go ahead and spend the spore grenade just to make sure we're not getting dumpstered here. Second tracking shot done. That's rude, but I don't think uh, it is enough. Okay. Nope, oh, that'll fix it. That's not good. Alrighty. Well. We need to get the poison darts ticking here. Get rid of the guy that's a danger. That should be the third the third uh, deal. And, uh, I mean, there's not really much for her to do here. But you know what? We'll use it a fourth time, just to be sure. There we go. Unabridged edition. Stirring stuff. We did get Smoldering Hymnal, which is not bad. And a Meditative Totem ain't bad either. Yeah. It's not really what we wanted. We really wanted to see Complete Catalog show up. But I think it'll have to be good enough. Alrighty. I think we're just going to have to accept the first, um... Yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to accept that the first, um... That the, uh, the first Burning Bright is going to happen. It's unfortunate, but I I don't really think it's possible to break it here. I mean, it might have been possible, but we do need to win the fight. <laughs> shut up, Boudica. Or shut up, Freya. You can't read. We all we all know it's a given, right? We all know that the uh, the Hellion doesn't read, right? <laughs> Oof. Well, Lou doing her job right now.
Nice. Absorbing that smokestack is kind of big for the Hellion. It's kind of her job right now. I think we just want to keep keep that up here. Oof. Oh, good. Poison Dart. Poison Dart getting through there was pretty important, actually. Just slowly pushing through here. All right. Categorize, you say? Well, that did... Actually, that did quite a bit. That's actually very annoying, because that... That really messes up what our uh, Vestal is designed to do right now. She can only move one back or one forward. Do you think we spend the healing salve and keep keep Audrey alive? Um, and I think we fire up the uh, the old highwayman here. And protect him so he doesn't get hit by anything. Reed is going to have to... Alright, Burning Bright's happening either way. There's literally no reason, no way to avoid it. So let's go and take our extra 10 damage. Yowza. There's Death's Door. Again, with the mandatory reading, it's not like the Hellion can read. <laughs> and that's not be yeah, you know, that's in that's because she's a barbarian. Uh, do we track? No, we just shoot. Boom. There we go. Relatively clean victory for Guns and Roses there. Whew, that's a lot of loot. All right, let's take it all. All right, formation's a little bit chewed up in places, but I think we're going to be okay. Um, let's get a Hand of Light and Divine Comfort back in. As for trinkets, uh, Burn Chance, nah. I guess Stirring Snuff can go in. I don't think Laden Lantern's going to have a use anywhere. Alright, let's roll. Alrighty, so... Cultist gets us a bunch of candles, but I think we need to go to the left. An assistance encounter is good. It's unfortunate because these are probably things like oases and the like, but I just I think we needed I think we needed to not let Freya's stress get to eight because that is going to be a lot. Maybe that's not right. Maybe we should have been a little greedier. Uh, you just want to rob them? That's not... That's not going to be a thing. Uh, yeah. That feels worthwhile. Well, tormenting, <laughs> tormenting Locket is just straight garbage to us. That can just get right out of my wagon. Uh, apples and cheese? Nah. Nah. I would like that healing salve in. I'll put these, uh, well, actually, put this in. This actually gives me the opportunity to use the bone saw if I want to. Well, as our uh, our friends are now sniping at each other, and that's we're definitely seeing the the fact that Guns N' Roses uh, does not have a stress healer 
That's at least a very good stress healer. Thankfully, a sanguine highwayman doesn't really... Wait, didn't I use one of these? I'm going to use one here and see what... No, maybe I didn't. Yeah. Now, if I did just waste waste that, I apologize, but I also have very little... I've, I've literally never seen these items before, and I don't think I've fooled around with them very much. I think we need to rock this revelry here. That's a three, four-point stress seal. That's pretty worthwhile. Let's go ahead and get the healing going. Now we do see the downside of regeneration here in that it's not it's not really gonna keep up with the Are you dead? You're just gone, so Boom. Reed continuing to do his job. We'll say that much for him. Ooh. I wanna try to get one more raucous revelry here, and I think I can. Because does Rockus Rover have a cooldown? It does have a cooldown. One turn. I think we're okay with that. Perfect. Okay. Here we go. So we have Reed take his turn off. We Rockus Revelry. Which heals another big chunk of stress. Now we just pirouette for the swag win. Hmm. That actually, uh, that, um... This can actually just go in right there. Make her a little tankier. All right. I am stronger for having relived my past. All right, we've got everything from the Vestal. Overall, pretty good telling of her uh, her story. I like the notion that uh, she's not just kind of guilty for herself, like in her personal sin, but rather because she... Okay, so it is used up. Actually, that's not a weapon. This is a weapon. I'm assuming this gets used up, though. So we're probably going to save it all the way to, like, the Exemplar or something. Something ridiculous like that. But I like, I, I did like the, um, the Vestal story. I think that was a pretty cool, cool way to go about that. You know what? Wilbur's flag is cool and all, but let's just let's just deal deal some damage here. Double kill. And yeah, we're getting, uh, that feels like a good use of Wilbur's flag. I mean, to some extent, like, there's always the danger of me just, like, sitting here like, oh, I don't want to use this item because it's going to be so good later. It's like, well, if you never use the item, you know, if you never actually use it, then it doesn't do anything. Like, this bone saw, I'm going to do my best not to be, like, too attached to it, if that makes sense. Let's get rid of... Let's get rid of your block token. Easy. 
And the swag win. Invigorating intoxicant is not not an item I'm very fond of. I don't I don't I don't like spending time at death's door, to be frank. Um This is probably doing more for you. Yeah. I don't know that Staggering Striker is any better than uh, that. Bomb Magazine, I don't think we're gonna use. Do we have Do we have somewhere we can put Thunderclap Grenades in? Yeah, we can use them. Okay. All right, first Colt, first Guardian fight. Um, I mean, it's gonna be Evangelist, Herald, Altar, um, Evangelist? It's going to be two Evangelists, an Altar, and a Herald. Because it has to be an Altar. And I don't think the Deacon and Cardinal show up in this pool. Yeah. Oh, no, it's a Cherub. Okay, it was either Herald or Cherub. It's the two options there. Cool. Nice stun resist right there. Altar of Resentment. Now, thinking about our, our last run. So, Altar of Denial, the ch that chance on stealth is like, there's a real opportunity for the game to just give you the business. Like here, like that's, that is effectively do nothing because uh, the Altar can't crit with any of its meaningful skills here. Oh, off by one. Unfortunate. We did get the bleed, though. Was kind of hoping for it to just be a kill, though. But we didn't. We didn't get there. Well, that was a do-nothing. Use that bandage kind of just for funsies. Nice, we did land a stun there. Hastening history, continuing to prefer the Vestal to all other available targets. Don't know why, but that's uh, what it's about. And let's actually, that's, that's a fun, oh, well... Okay, we had a chance to get rid of the crit token, but apparently there was a 1 in 4 chance that she was just going to get us anyway. So, we tried. We tried. However, now we get to bonk. Bonk for 13. That's pretty, uh... That's pretty okay. Always appreciate a smoldering hymnal uh, proc as well. And there's Death's Door. Unfortunately, <laughs> poor Audrey's just going to take that on the chin, but that's okay. Because we get to take it to the Howling End. Noise. That was a clean cultist battle. Thunderclap Grenade really, really did some work there. I'm impressed. Oh, and Leaf Spring Suspension showed up. Uh, Fisherman's Net, Dark Impulse. I don't... Hmm. I don't think Strange Sapper is going to stick around. I think um, I'd rather have... Definitely want Leaf Spring. Um, don't need that. Guess I'll just put those in there. I'm kind of tempted to keep the Fisherman's Net around. Because uh, there is the... Um, I believe there's a, a thing we can get from that. Um, we'll just get rid of the holy water so we have space. 
Yeah, overall, a good first, uh, good first zone here. Hmm, two restorative herbs is a pretty nice pickup. Peacemaker, nice pickup for Reed. Audrey's a Fodor Scrounger. Another Peacemaker. That's two Peacemakers. That's pretty sweet. Nice pickup. All right, let's get a Leaf Spring Suspension over Academics map for sure, because we've now got a 100% scouting chance. Where are we heading? Uh, into the sluice? Yeah, into the sluice. Let's get the, uh, let's get the extra, um, the extra loot. Ooh. What are you? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's a, um, that's a really good item. If flammable item is equipped plus 25% damage. Well, obviously we're going to buy it. Because, oh, now I really wish I hadn't thrown away the lantern. I wish I'd known. And she's too slow to make Smoldering Hymnal work. But we're likely to find other flammable items. And now Illumination deals burn. That feels better than stirring snuff. Man, I feel really silly about throwing away Laden Lantern. Laden Lantern would have been so good here. Well, I mean, lesson learned. I, you know, I didn't know what that... I didn't know that that trinket existed. So, uh, there we go. Uh, Mortar and Pestle is pretty good. We are pretty stinking rich. Tea Service and Leaf Spring I both want to have. Um, a Sagir... Is Mortal and Pestle better than a Sagir? I don't think so. I would like all those adrenaline tonics, though. And the boxing gloves. I will take the restorative herbs. And we'll just keep our eyes out for any sort of flammable, flammable option here. Give all our people a little food buff here. And let's see if there's some negative trinkets to... Bum leg. Squeamish. Eh. Let's get rid of gentry fearing. Let's just get rid of the get rid of the stuff that's easy. I mean, I guess we could accelerate her. We could think about doing that. Let's go ahead and just make some room here. I kind of want to save boxing gloves for the next real zone. Kind of want to save all the rest of this stuff for the next real zone. Yeah, because we're heading to the sluice, which is pretty easy. We got four mastery points to spend. Well, let's get grape shot, blast, and double tap upgraded. Get get Reed's main damage dealing going. Um. Give Mace Bash its upgrade. We've been using that. Give Illumination its upgrade. Per start really purging tokens, especially now that it also does burns. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Actually, if we go Dead of Night for that chance at stealth... We could just as easily be Shadow Fading rather than Pirouetting, though. Mm, nah, okay. I don't think that's right. Um, well, maybe Mace Bash doesn't need its upgrade. Alright, these two are definites. Yeah, maybe we just, like, triple down on our damage this turn. Go there, there. There for the huge damage gain. 
And we have been using pirouettes. Maybe do like that. And just continue not to upgrade Lou because she doesn't need it to do like the main things we're having her do. On the other hand, I really want to upgrade. We're gonna upgrade illumination. We're gonna we're gonna get some mileage here. Um, pirouette can have its upgrade because we are using that every turn. We will upgrade, and then actually we'll just do grape shot and uh, double tap. There we go. There we go. Decision made. Action action achieved. Um, none of the rest of this stuff really moves the needle for me. I guess Leather Strop technically does more for the... Oh, no, because it doesn't stack. It doesn't... That's not how that works. Um, Mortar and Pestle? I guess I'd rather just have a ton of relics. I think, yeah. I think there's better things. Like, if we were going to Denial, this would be more relevant or to... Um, Obsession, but for resentment, pol poultices aren't really the thing we're worried about. Eh. Can't just purge off that stress. All right. Well, thank you all for watching. Tune in next time as Guns N' Roses uh, plays its next uh, next show in the sluice of all places. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. Let the YouTube algorithm know I make content that you and people like you like to watch. Till next time, see ya.